Let's go over the future of Star Wars when it comes to Disney's plan after the Solo A Star Wars Story box office results. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, the Han Solo movie released back on May 24th, Thursday night, on its pre-opening night, raking in $14 million. and in comparison to Rogue One, it underperformed, because on Rogue One, A Star Wars Story's pre-opening night on Thursday, it got $22.1 million, and The Last Jedi, $45 million for their Thursday night. Now, looking at all of this, the whole entire Memorial Day weekend, a lot of the media out there has been saying that Solo A Star Wars Story by that it underperformed and that it may not even break even when it comes to the budget of you know what they put in for the actual movie and how much money they're actually making now we actually do have an update for Disney's plan after examining the solo a Star Wars story box office results those full stories will be linked below in the description go ahead and check it out now as of right now Disney does have a new plan after looking at the box office results for their second anthology film and right now Disney is going to refrain from releasing two Star Wars movies a year or two Star Wars movies so close to each other just months apart so that is all done that is going away apparently because of the Solo A Star Wars Story box office results. As you all know, Dave Hollis, he's the distribution guy over at Disney. He was trying to get down to the bottom of it all. And I honestly don't think it's a frequency issue. I don't think that that was the issue at all. I think that The Last Jedi Backlash definitely played a huge role in all of this. And I think that there were other factors as well. A lot of people are saying that maybe it was Memorial Day weekend because a lot of people are celebrating, a lot of people are out. I know I was at the beach on Saturday, but anyways, I saw the movie on Thursday night. But looking at Solo A Star Wars Story, the fact that it underperformed at the box office, I really do believe that The Last Jedi Backlash had a huge piece in all of it. I really do believe that. Now, some people out there would disagree. I've been seeing some people disagreeing with that, which is all okay and all. Everybody has their own opinion as to why the box office is underperforming in comparison to the other Star Wars movies that fall under the Disney era, such as The Last Jedi, The Force Awakens, and Rogue One. Now, what does this mean for the future? Is this the end of Solo, uh, is this the end of Star Wars stories, I should say, for the future to come, such as the Kenobi movie and the Boba Fett film? That's a big question. No, I don't think so at all. I just think that they're gonna stick with that plan from now on of not releasing two Star Wars movies you know, in such a short time. And I think that it was a good idea. I think I like that whole entire idea of having The Last Jedi and then looking forward to another movie just, you know, somewhat five months later. I think that was perfect. I love that because there wasn't a huge wait. And not only that, it could have affected the marketing in a sense. A lot of people are coming up with these ideas that maybe the marketing played a huge role as well into the underperforming box office because we didn't get a trailer or should I say we didn't even get a teaser until February and then the very next day after the Super Bowl we got an extended teaser and then some months later is when we got the trailer just before practically the release of the movie now as far as TV spots go I haven't been seeing them as much as The Last Jedi before Solo released. So who knows guys, I really do believe, like I say, that The Last Jedi backlash played a huge role. I think that the marketing at least may have, you know, had somewhat of an impact because it was a different it was a different different like marketing approach if you look at exactly when everything was released. If you look at all the other Star Wars movies, you know, they usually release a trailer a whole year before the movie arrives. As for Solo, well, we got a trailer just a couple of months before it's released, so that's something that you usually don't see too much when it comes to a Star Wars movie. But like I said, guys, that is Disney's new plan now. The full stories will be linked below in the description. They will no longer, apparently, be releasing two Star Wars movies a year in such a short duration like that, so close to each other. Now, could they expand it 
that's another possibility that's something that they could honestly work out if they really wanted to like instead of like a five month gap they could make it maybe like an eight or nine month gap but would that really make a whole lot of difference i don't think so i'm not quite sure i really don't think that it's a frequency issue here at all like disney thinks i really do believe that it's a mixture of the last jedi backlash and the marketing and maybe even other factors thrown in there as well do you guys disagree with that or do you guys agree with that would you rather have two star wars movies a year in such a short duration or would you rather have one star wars movie a year and that's it to me it's somewhat i think it's a shame because i honestly embraced the whole entire format of having two star wars movies a year because there's not much you know wait time right there's not a lot of you know wondering exactly oh when are we going to get a trailer or when are we going to get a teaser with solo you could very well tell exactly when it was going to drop early 2018 and that's when we got it so I think that the fact that they're going to be sticking to one Star Wars movie a year from now on, apparently, I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. I think that if they do it, yes, just every year, not, you know, a year and a half, because now Star Wars Episode Nine is quite a ways away. What I think that they should do, maybe, is keep on testing those May releases instead of the December releases and see what really happens with other Star Wars movies and kind of see if it was just the Han Solo movie, or maybe if things would improve if they stuck to the May release for perhaps the Kenobi movie or the Boba Fett film and see if that performs better. I don't think that they should just, you know, essentially assume everything based on one film. I think that they should definitely shoot for another May release, at least for another Star Wars film that would really cater to a lot of the Star Wars fans out there, like a Kenobi movie or a Boba Fett film, or maybe even, you know, in the future, like a Jedi Purge movie featuring Vader. See what happens with those kind of movies in May, and then, you know, kind of, you know, reformulate your plan moving forward. That's how I think things should work out. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about that. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.